Georgia Tech might be one of the big surprise teams in the ACC in 2024, but the biggest thing that could be holding them back would be that schedule because it is absolutely brutal. Before we go game by game with predictions, just some thoughts on this team. Uh, you look at the offense and uh, especially you know, Haynes King back at quarterback, a guy that I really didn't think was very good, but he's, he's grown on me. He's improved and, and they've got a great stable of running backs. They're very good at wide receiver. This is probably the par possibly the best a uh, group of quarterback, running back, wide receiver, the skill positions here at Georgia Tech might be the best that they've had since back before they ran the triple option. I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, I, I'd have to go back and look at every single team to say that for sure, but um, they've got a lot of talent. The offensive line should be pretty good. The defensive line should be pretty good. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the defense in a couple of areas, the linebacker spot, the cornerback position. Those are, are definitely areas where you might have to watch this team, but a safety position looks to be strong. I think the defense will be improved from where it was last year. And again, I think the offense continues to make strides. This is, again, one of the more talented teams uh, that Georgia Tech has had in, in quite some time. And they've got a decent amount of experience coming back as well. Uh, Vegas, they've got their over-under at five and a half despite a brutal schedule. We're talking Florida State at Syracuse, at Louisville, at North Carolina. We got Notre Dame at Virginia Tech, Miami, NC State at Georgia. I think I just named nine games that they uh, could possibly be underdogs in. So it's a really, really tough schedule. Uh, they will open up in that game in Ireland, Week Zero, August 24th. Uh, love, I love having a good game on Week Zero. We need at least one good game. We've got it again this year. Uh, Georgia Tech, Florida State. Florida State's lose. They lost a lot from last year. I know they still have a lot of talent, but. This, to me, feels like it could be one of those Duke-Clemson games from last year, that early season ACC game where you see a big upset, one that really uh, no one was predicting. Not saying that's going to happen, but I think it could. I think Georgia Tech is definitely going to compete in this game. Uh, it's all the way in Ireland, so you'd have no idea how that could potentially affect uh, things. Uh, it, it should be a, a good game. I think it'll be close. Uh, I'm going to go with Florida State, though. I just think their defense is a little too much. Uh, that's the difference in this game. Florida State's defense is going to be really, really good, and uh, I think they get enough stops to get the win. But don't be shocked if Georgia Tech pulls off an upset there. They got Georgia State the next week, uh, which is really week one. Uh, play them at home. Uh, Georgia State's not a, not a terrible group of five teams, so this game might be close for a little bit, but I think Georgia Tech should be able to uh, manage, and I think they win this one. Uh, Syracuse is next on the road September 7th. A lot of people are high on Syracuse. I think they're going to be decent, but I don't think they're going to be as good as what a lot of people are saying. Uh, and I think Georgia Tech is the better team. They're just ahead of where Syracuse is right now. I know it's on the road. It doesn't matter. Give me Georgia Tech. And then I think they beat VMI as well. So a 3-1 and one start. They play Louisville on the road on September 21st. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Louisville is going to have a talented roster, a solid defense. Uh, the offense, you know, you expect to be pretty good. I don't think Louisville is going to be quite as good as last year, but they should should be pretty good. And again, playing this game on the road, that's going to be tough for Georgia Tech. I'm going to go with Louisville here in this one. They get Duke the next week. Oh, and actually get a bye week before playing Duke on October the 5th uh, at home. Uh, Duke's just, I don't think they're going to be anything like what they were under Mike Elko. The defense might still be pretty good. They've got you know, they got some decent players. Malik Murphy comes in at quarterback. I don't think they're going to be terrible, but I think Georgia Tech is the better team here. Plus, playing at home, got to go Yellow Jackets. Next week is on the road at North Carolina. A team that I think is, is maybe being slept on a little bit. There's still some talent on this roster. I think North Carolina, a more talented team than Georgia Tech. Um, some new pieces there, so maybe not as much experience as Georgia Tech. So this one should be good. I think it'll be close. We've seen North Carolina, you know, we've seen them lose games they should win and, and maybe win games they shouldn't. They, it's It's been a really weird last couple of seasons for North Carolina. Uh, so they're very tough to predict. One of the toughest teams to predict. I'd, I'd say in all of college football. Uh, I'm going to go with, with North Carolina, though. They're playing at home. I think they're a little bit better than Georgia Tech. Plus, again, home field advantage. Kind of the same story with Louisville and North Carolina. I think both teams are a little bit ahead of Georgia Tech. Plus, they're playing at home. It's hard to pick against them. Next game is Notre Dame on October 19th. And if you watched the Notre Dame video, you already saw my prediction here for this game. I just feel like Georgia Tech is going to get a big upset this year. Either Notre Dame or Miami. I think they pull off a huge, huge upset. Uh, they've done it many, many times in the past. They get both of those games at home. Uh, I think at the line of scrimmage, they can handle Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame's better, but uh, they'll be good enough. 
I think Haynes King make Haynes King makes some plays on offense to uh, get a, a big upset. So Georgia Tech upsets Notre Dame, but then they've got to go to Virginia Tech the next week. And just look at this for a second as as we uh, look at these final four games. You got to at Virginia Tech, Miami, NC State, and at Georgia. You've got to win one of those games to get to a bowl game. And you could even go back to before the Notre Dame game and say you got to win two of those games. It looks to be pretty challenging to me. I don't think they beat Virginia Tech. This is an experienced team. It's a very tough place to play. I think the defense for Virginia Tech will be enough for them. Uh, so they get the win here. Then Miami, I talked about it. I think they're going to upset Notre Dame or Miami. I've going, I'm going with Notre Dame, so I think they lose to Miami. But I could easily see that flip. You know, Miami, after the way they lost last year, I think they have some extra motivation this time. But Georgia Tech's kind of had their number. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if Georgia Tech did win that game. Uh, NC State is next, and this is going to be a weeknight game. It's at home. Uh, Georgia Tech is tough to beat on, uh, in those types of games. I think NC State's going to be good this year, but I don't think there's a huge gap between NC State and Georgia Tech, and I think the home field advantage, the weeknight game, the atmosphere, it's enough for Georgia Tech to pull off a big upset here. So I actually have them getting two upsets. I don't think NC State's quite as big of an upset as Notre Dame or Miami, uh, but they might be ranked at this point, so that, that would be a big win for Georgia Tech. Um, and we saw them a little bit more competitive against Georgia last year. I think you'll see more of the same where they they don't get blown out too bad, but um, they really don't have a chance to win. I think that's kind of the same case uh, this year. So I think they lose at Georgia. They finish 6-6. Six and six. They get to a bowl game. It's going to be tough with this schedule, but I think they can do it. Do you guys agree or disagree? Give me your thoughts on Georgia Tech and your predictions down in the comments below.